Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Get ready to get rich today because we got an upset for you. Uh, we got a great odds on the IBF uh, Super Featherweight title fight between Joe Cordina and Eddie Vasquez. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every big fight. Uh, we're going to get into Vasquez and, uh, and, and, and Cordina in um, Monaco. Uh, but before we do, please uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Remember, uh, we use DraftKings for all of our odds, for all of our books. But um, we don't. I don't gamble. If you guys do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house on boxing. The boxing odds makers, the bookkeepers, they don't know how to make odds. The bookmakers don't know how to make odds at all. You can really bring down bring down the house. I showed you that last week. We went three for three with our picks, and today. We've got the upset of a lifetime. I mean, we, we you know, I mean, that's no percent. We've got a major upset you guys can make a ton of money on. These odds are absurd. Um, it's Joe Cordina and, and Edward Vasquez. Um, it's, it's Wales versus Texas. So you, you know I have the inside track on this. Uh, Eddie, uh, well, let, let's start with Cordina. Uh, Cordina is, is a massive betting favorite. Um He's coming off uh, of the win over Rakimov. Really good win. Really good win. Um, and Rakimov is going to fight in, in, in a similar but very different style. Uh, you know, very differently than, than Vasquez would fight him. And, uh, you know, I, I want to get into that, right? Because Rakimov is going to pressure him and pressure him and pressure him and stay on him. And Edward Vasquez is. There's a major difference. Eddie Vasquez is a much better defensive fighter. He moves his head. Rakimov blocks punches with his face. Um, I don't mean that disparaging, but Rakimov, you know, blocks punches with his face. Um, he, he's southpaw, and he can punch. He's a bigger puncher, uh, and that was a split decision. His face got swollen up. If his face doesn't get swollen up, he probably wins that fight. Um, and look, Cordina can punch. There's no question about it that Cordina is the bigger puncher in the fight. He's obviously a bigger puncher than Eddie Vasquez. I think his power, because of the one spectacular knockout. Look, Caleb Plant's got a spectacular knockout, right? You want to call Caleb Plant a one-punch knockout? He's got a knockout of the year, knockout of the year type knockout. Right? Omar Juarez has a knockout of the year type knockout. Of the year type knockout. Yes, he can knock you out. He's got power. I, I just think the Agawa knockout has inflated his power because he dropped uh, Rockamoff in the second, had him in a bunch of trouble, hit him about 300 times in a row, couldn't finish him, right? So I'm not saying he can't hit. Joe Cordini absolutely can hit. I think his power, though, is a little overrated as far as a one as a one hitter quitter because of the spectacular, power, you know, the spe one spectacular knockout over Agawa in, in a big fight. Uh, I also want to get into Joe Cordini's resume. Joe Cordini's resume is two guys. Agawa, beautiful knockout. Um, but then he's got a knockout over. He's got a, a, a split decision victory over Rockamov. But I want to be clear. I thought he beat Rockamov. I thought it was much wider. You know, I, I, I thought 115, 112, 116, 111. I, I think Alex Levin's scorecard, who had 16, 11 Rockamov, was a terrible card. I, I thought Cordino it won a very competitive fight, and he won it clearly. I had an 8 4 with a two point round. The rest of his resume. So he went in and won a world title without much of a resume. Okay. You can go through the rest of his, of his resume at 30 and 35. It's not there. Mario Enrique Tanako is probably his best win. Gavin Gwynn. Those are the, those are the names on his resume. And Sean Dodd. That's it. No, not that those are terrible wins. And, and he dominated Dodd. And, uh, you know, he had a really, you know, he he, he didn't dominate Gwynn. It was a good performance in, 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 in a tough fight. But then he had trouble with Mario Enrique Tanako. So, look, you guys want to say, and that was in Monte Carlo too, by the way. Uh, so he had trouble with a pressure Mexican-style fighter. Had trouble with him. He won the fight. He won it 6-4, right? 
Like, it was a difficult fight. He won it. I don't think too many people debated it, but, but he lost a bunch of rounds. Mario Enrique Tanaka is nowhere near the level. Torito is nowhere near the level of Edward Vasquez. Edward Vasquez is an athlete. He moves his head. He's not a hitter, but he gets in, and he's got a tremendous gas tank. He gets better in the second half of the round of, of the fight, and the second half of the fight is when you saw Tanako and you saw um, Rockamov. The pressure fighters really come on and rally. Now, Cordina bailed himself out in the 12th round, and, and I thought won the 12th round of the um, Rockamov fight was bailed out, but, but in the second half of the fight was when Rockamov started coming on. Um. <laughs> The odds on this is so outrageous that you can't really bet. It doesn't make any sense. You can't win any money on Cordina. And Vasquez, look, I want to say, make this point. If this was Raymond Ford in the fight, people would be picking Raymond Ford left and right to win this fight. Okay? And I understand boxing math doesn't work this way. Edward Vasquez dominated Raymond Ford. At the post by press conference, I was there in Arizona. Eddie Hearn said he has to go back and tell, you know, everyone, he has to go tell his fighter he lost. Okay. Eddie Hearn said that was some of the worst scoring he's ever seen. Okay. Matt Vasquez, it, you know, it, you know, Raymond Ford has won a bunch of fights and he's going to fight for, you know, a world title in the relatively near future. But um, Vasquez, Eddie Hearn knew Vasquez won that fight. Okay. Vasquez, you know, and Eddie Hearn says, you know, it could have won either way. No, it couldn't have. That was the robbery of the year in 2022. Everyone knows Vasquez won that fight. Simple and plain. Simple and plain. He's a pressure fighter, and he fights into all of Cordina's weaknesses. I've always said Cordina is a weakness for a left hook and a body shot, right? Like, he's so there to be hit with a left hook. Vasquez has got a great left hook. Vasquez is a great – you don't think Vasquez is a great uh, body puncher? Go ask Raymond Ford, right? He's a body puncher. Vasquez is a world-class fighter, right? I, I, Vasquez has fought as many good fighters, as many good fighters as Cordina. He just hasn't fought, you know, the, the two top names, right, in Rockamoff. And is, is Rockamoff really, like, that good? I would ask – what I'm saying was – Everyone, not everyone, a lot of people would pick Raymond Ford to beat Cordina. I know there's a difference in weight. But if that fight would have happened at 130, there'd be no shortage of people telling you Raymond Ford would win that fight. And I think he would too. I think Raymond Ford's a very good fighter. I think Raymond Ford would beat Joe Cordina. And Edwin Vasquez dominated Ray Ford. So, what, I mean... I understand that stylistically, Raymond Ford and Edward Vasquez cannot be different, okay? More different. I understand. Edward Vasquez is like that, though. He really is. This guy just keeps winning and winning and winning, right? Um, we so, Look, uh, we went over the names. Gavin Gwynn, Tanako probably gave Cordina the toughest fight of his career. Rakimov, right? Brian DeGracia, Marcel Lopez, Misael Lopez, Victor Slavonovsky, Raymond Ford. Like, he's got names. Irvin Gonzalez, Dan Ochoa. He's got more good names. And he's been through wars. And he's gotten through wars. And he's got a tremendous kid. Eddie Vasquez, I know him personally. He runs a half marathon every day. And you can see that conditioning is part of it. His work rate picks up. Right, and I think we're gonna have Cordino winning this early and Vasquez winning it late. Right, and I'm glad it's not in in the UK because I think Eddie Vasquez can get a fair decision here in Monaco at Monte Carlo, and I, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna win on points. I haven't seen the ref or the judges yet. I don't know if they're bringing in Americans or British judges or what they have. I, I don't know. But this is a, a fight that, you know, look. And I was listening to Punch Perfect Box, but Punch Perfect Boxing, who I, I like his podcast a lot. And the disrespect Vasquez is getting is outrageous. You would never treat Raymond Ford, someone Edward Vasquez, handily beat like this. And, 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 the 
And I, I'm going to call out Punch Perfect right now because I really like his show and I listen to his show. And sometimes when I'm torn on a pick, I listen to his take. And just the disrespect for Vasquez, who's fought as many good fighters as Cordina. He's been in as many fights as Cordina, right? So my kind of guess on this fight is Edwin Vasquez by split decision. Right? And if you're kind of hedging that way, I'm going to pull up the odds now and show you exactly what I'm talking about and how we're going to make a ton of money on this. I know I went very late on that, uh, but I, this is a big fight. It's a world title fight, and I, I think the odds are a travesty. I almost can guarantee that this fight is going to go 10 and a half rounds, the distance. Um, and that's plus 125. You, you might want to make that a two times bet, honestly. Um, the other bet which I'm telling you, I'm picking Vasquez. He's plus 1,100. And that is so ridiculous. That is so absurd on his face. You have to take it. A $100 bet makes you your money back and 1,100. Just as Vasquez by decision, right? Goes 12 rounds. Makes you $1,225 on a $200 bet. This is the one you have to take. It doesn't make sense to pick anything else besides this. They are, they, 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 they. This is what is going to make us money. This is the upset special. Like This is when we take all those bets and we take the guys who are plus five, six, seven hundred. This is why, right? We will... We'll pick up the little bets until something like this comes along. Edward Vasquez, plus 1,100 to win by decision over 10 and a half rounds. Makes you 1225. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. But I, I love this. And uh, I, I, I think the disrespect, like guys, like I said, like, like my traffic was saying, he, who, who watched Vasquez, who knows what he's talking about, who says he's not at Cordina's level, is absolutely ridiculous. I think that's absurd. I, I think Edward Vasquez, like I said, dominated Raymond Ford, and I think a lot of people would pick Ford to beat Cordina. And I want to get into I, – I, look, Edward Vasquez, when he came into the Raymond Ford fight, in the ring that night, the 126-pounder weighed 152 pounds. He's not going to be the smaller guy. If he is, it's going to, it's not, it's not, size is not going to make a difference in this fight, right? Cordina was a small lightweight, which is why he came down to 130. And he should have. It's, it's the right weight class for him. I said when he was at 135, you look at guys like Devin Haney, Tiafima Lopez, and guys who were there at that time, even guys like Tanahar, who are physically bigger than Joe Cordina. Joe Cordina is a 130 pounder. Eddie Vasquez is a 130 pounder. The size is not going to make a difference in this fight. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow three boxing, three boxing blogger, all from social media. The boxing book comes at you at, for every single major fight to break it down for you. We went three for three, three for three, three and oh last week. Let's keep it going. Get your bets in. Eddie Vasquez, uh, by decision and over 10 and a half rounds. Uh, it is October 31st, 2023. Happy Halloween. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.